Kelly, also known as Kelly de la Creme on this channel and also on my blog and Instagram that I've been posting makeup looks on for a few months now and I finally decided to make a YouTube page. It's definitely been on my mind for quite a while now but I finally decided to do it and this is my first makeup look. So for this look is more of like a summer night out type look that I've been wearing a lot this summer and for the eyeshadow um it's pretty much just standard you know slight smoky eye really good for a night out so if you would like to see how i made this look then just please keep watching well i'm starting with primer i'm using this smashbox photo finish primer for foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible, and I'm using shade 103 Natural Buff. For concealer, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. For brows, I have been using this e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. I use the shade Light. And it's really nice because there's a powder and a wax for getting more precise lines and stuff like that. The wax really comes in handy. And then I put a clear brow gel over them. I really like the Milani clear brow gel. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the eyeshadow. So I already did the eyeshadow on this eye so that you can see how it's supposed to look while I walk through it with you guys on this eye. This is the palette we're using to do this whole look. It's the Lorac Pro 2 palette. We are going to start off with this color light brown and it's going to be our transition color. We're going to lightly put it slightly above the crease. And I have small eyes, um, small deep set eyes, so I like to focus my eyeshadows more on the outside. I don't take them all the way in because for me, that's going to end up closing off my eye. But you know, if you have big eyes, you might want them to look smaller. So you might want to try and create the opposite effect by bringing it in all the way. Whatever suits you. I'm going to use this really pretty shade Mocha and blending that right under. All right, and now we're going to use this dark shade Coco, and I'm going to use this um, precision brush because I want it focused just in the very outer V, slightly in the crease, and then on the very outer part of the lid because I don't want it as much blended out. So I'm using a smaller brush with smaller motion. I'm going to pick just up a little bit because it is dark. I'm just going to go and take the 217 again and blend it out a little bit better. I'm going to put on the lid color which is rose this really gorgeous rose gold color for under my brow bone i'm going to take the shade next to it beige it's a bit lighter and it's really good for um, highlighting under the brow bone and i'm also just going to take a dab of it and put it on the center of the lid to make it a little more uh, bright and just slightly blend it out and then for under the eye I'm just going to take this little blending brush, pick up the light brown shade, and put it underneath my eye. And then this more precise small one, I'm just going to pick up the rose color and start from the inner corner and go about halfway. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. I'm going to do my first coat with this lash sensational by Maybelline. I got it about a month ago and I've been really liking it. I'm 
Okay, and if you like more natural looking lashes, then you can just do one coat. But I love like black, volumized, long like lashes. So I always do a second coat with CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face makeup. Okay, so what I use to set my under eye concealer every single time is this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm using shade 100 Transparent. And I use it with this e.l.f. brush. It's called the Small Tapered Brush. And to set my rest of my foundation, I'm going to use this Neutrogena Press Powder in shade 30 Light to Medium. I am going to do some contouring for this look. So what I always use to contour is this True Match Powder, but it's just in a really dark shade, C8 Cocoa. And then this is what I use for bronzer and to blend it. It looks kind of crazy right now, but once I do my blush and all that, it just blends in with it. Okay, and I'm going to put actual bronzer on my face too. So I'm going to use this MAC one from the limited edition wash and dry collection. So I put it over the contour a little bit and onto the cheeks. Up on the corners of my forehead, downwards down to my neck I'm gonna use this Too Faced Sweetheart blush it's in the shade Peach Beach I'm going to use this Revlon Skin Lights on top of my blush as a highlighter and just a little bit right where you would do a normal highlight and blend it down onto the blush but I am still, still going to use a powder highlight because I'm obsessed with highlighter. So I'm going to use my favorite one right now, Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm literally obsessed with highlighter. And I like to use a nude eyeliner pencil in my waterline. So I'm just going to do a nude lip liner first. And here is a lipstick. It's Tequila Sunrise by Gerard Cosmetics, which I love for summertime. 